Welcome to Adventures in Poland. Welcome to Adventures. This is Adventures with Oli Castillo. Dzień dobry, dzień dobry, Adventures with Oli is back to bring you another round of informative videos for our loyal viewers who continuously support our YouTube channel. But if you are new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated with our happenings inside and outside of Poland. At kung may questions, suggestions, or comments, mag-comment ka lang sa ating comment section. And if you like my videos, bakit hindi mo i-like at i-share? With just one share, we can provide valuable information about Poland to many of our fellow Filipinos. Thank you for sticking around and I can't wait to share to share more adventures. Okay, so my name is Oli and you are watching Adventures with Oli. So sanay na ba ang ating mga viewers sa so bagong format ng ating paggawa ng mga video. So don't worry, ako din po ay nangangapa. <laughs> Dahil sa sobrang tagal na nating hindi nagbi-video, so medyo nahihirapan pa ako. Okay, sa video na ito, we will be diving into important information para sa mga kababayan nagbabalak magtrabaho bilang factory workers dito sa Poland. So we will cover minimum and maximum salaries, working hours, overtime pay, holidays and day offs. Plus, we will share some tips and warnings para maging handa kayo. At kung nagbabalak ka na magtrabaho dito sa Poland, make sure na alam mo ang mga ito. First, let's talk about salaries. As of 2024, tumaas ang minimum wage sa Poland in two stages. Mula January 1st, 2024, ang minimum monthly salary ay naging 4,242 PLN gross. At mula July 1st, 2024, tumaas ito ng 4,300 PLN gross. Kung tumaas ng 4,300 PLN gross, in hand na matatanggap mo ay 3,231.53 PLN after ibawas ang mga buwis at contribution sa Social Security. Katumbas ito ng around 47,000 pesos to 48,000 pesos per month. Para sa factory workers, ang average salary ay around 56,000 PLN gross per year which is approximately 4,700 PLN gross per month. Ang mga entry level na posisyon ay karaniwang nagsisimula sa humigit kumulang 51,000 PLN gross kada taon o halos 4,200 PLN kada buwan. Sa kabilang banda, ang mga experienced workers can earn even up to over 63,000 PLN annually which is about 5,300 PLN per month. Now, let's talk about working hours. Ang standard working hours para sa factory workers sa Poland ay typically 40 hours per week, spread over 5 days. Ibig sabihin, magtatrabaho ka ng 8 hours a day from Monday to Friday or even weekend. Pero paano naman ang overtime? Overtime work sa Poland ay compensated at higher rates at ganito ang mga sistema. 50% extra pay para sa overtime work kung weekdays at 100% extra pay para sa overtime work at night, on Sundays, or public holidays. July 1, 2024, minimum hourly rate from 27 and 70 PLN tumaas ng 28 and 10 PLN. For example, kung ang standard hourly rate mo ay 28 and 10 PLN, Ang overtime pay ay magiging 42 and 15 PLN per hour para sa weekdays at 56 and 20 PLN per hour para sa nights, Sundays, or public holidays. Kaya karamihan sa ating mga kababayan ay kumikita ng malaki dahil sa kanilang overtime sa halip na 8 hours lang, 8 hanggang 14 hours silang nagtatrabaho. That's why they can earn a lot yun nga lang pagod ang katawan. Bukod sa regular working hours at overtime, mahalaga rin na malaman ang tungkol sa holidays at day offs. Sa Poland, may labing tatlong public holidays na hindi pwedeng ipagtrabaho unless sobrang kailangan. Ang ilan sa mga ito ay ang New Year's Day, January 1st, Easter Sunday and Monday, Labor Day, May 1st, Constitution Day, May 3rd, and Christmas Day, December 25th. 
Kung magtatrabaho ka sa mga araw na ito, entitled ka sa 200% ng iyong daily rate or you may choose to take another day off as compensation. At para mas makatulong pa sa inyo, ang kasalukuyang exchange rate ng Poliswati or PLN to Philippine Peso 1 PLN is 14 and 71 pesos. Always check the current exchange rate before making any financial transactions para hindi malugi. Para sa ating mga kababayan na nagtatrabaho at nagbabalak magtrabaho sa Poland, laging tatandaan, siguraduhin mag-research ng company at job offer ng mabuti. Verify the legitimacy of recruitment agency and the job offer. Pumunta sa POEA website to check if registered ang agency. Habang maraming kumpanya ang gumagamit ng English, makakatulong ang basic Polish sa daily activities at better integration. Simple phrases like Jin Dobry which is good day or Jin Kwe that means thank you. Alamin ang labor law sa Poland including your rights to fair wages, working hours at working conditions. Maging familiar sa inyong employment contract at siguraduhin lahat ng detalye ay malinaw bago ka pumirma. Stay connected with Pinoy's in Poland. Sumali sa Filipino community sa Poland, they can offer support, advice at sense of community habang nasa abroad ka. Maraming Facebook groups at local organization ng Pinoy's in Poland. Sana nakatulong ang information na ito as your journey to work as a factory worker here in Poland. Always be vigilant and do your research at maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta Adventures with Oli Nagbabalita Este. I am your Filipino vlogger here in Poland bringing you informative videos at nagpapaalala ang sikreto ng pag-asenso ay nagsisimula sa isang pangarap at pagsisikap. Jinkuye Barzo, idusubat chanya. Thank you and see you in the next video.